Mm. This is... Oh, wow. That's really good. No matter the day or season, strawberries are grown here inside Oishi's Vertical Farm. Hiroki Koga is the company's CEO and co-founder. Vertical farming isn't necessarily brand new, but you chose strawberries. Why, why strawberries? We just really wanted to prove to the world that we can actually grow crops beyond leafy greens. And strawberries was one of the fruits that I thought there was a huge difference in the quality of what I was used to eating back in my home country of Japan and what was available here stateside. Founded in 2016, Oishi, which means delicious in Japanese, is the first indoor vertical strawberry farm in the U.S. It's one of an estimated 3,000 vertical farms in the United States, transforming the agricultural industry. When you think about what's required for farming, you need access to cheap land, cheap water, and cheap and stable labor. And on top of that, you have to rely heavily on pesticides. And given the, the volatility of extreme weather events. Exactly. We don't get impacted by the weather. We don't need farmland. We can recycle all of the water that we use, so significantly less water, and we don't use any pesticides. So it's just a matter of time that vertical farming is actually going to be cheaper than conventional farming. Boise's farms rely on robots and bee pollination. You basically have to fool the bees into thinking they're outdoors? Yeah, so we like to say we create a paradise for the bees and not really just fool them. Our bee pollination success rate is above 95%. What kind of bees are these? So we don't talk about <laughs> the, the, the bee species because it's, it's, it's actually our secret sauce. In other words, it was none of our business. Not only do you have bees, but you have robots, you've got computers. Are you even using AI for this? We're using an AI everywhere. Some of the berries that you just had, they were picked by a, a robot robots? that runs on AI. Those berries are sold at a premium. We used to sell this pack for $50. $50. But today, Oishi's packs are priced around $10. We went from $50 to less than $10 in about four or five years. We can get to four or $5 in the next, you know, coming few years. Hiroki, what's this? So this is our central command room. Ooh. As you can see, we bring all of the data that we gather in our farms into this room. This is not like your typical farm, obviously. <laughs> I wanted to check it out myself. Just want to make sure that we don't bring any outside pest into the farm. <laughs> it smells very peaty, very farmish like. Mm -hmm. Even though it looks a little bit different from your traditional farms, essentially what we're doing is very similar. We have LEDs instead of the sunlight, uh -huh. but we use the same type of strawberries. Every day is a perfect day uh -huh. for this strawberry. These strawberries are probably as happy as they can be. Oh, look at you, you happy berry. This one is ready, so you can use that tool to... Right here? Yes. There you go. Oh, wow. Wow freshest berry in New York. I'm telling you, that's <laughs> amazing. They even so, so, smell good. Uh, and here's the mm. thing, that with AI and the computers and you know, using bees and controlling the environment, you're guaranteed, because how many times, you, we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. you know, you, okay, you may spend less for strawberries, but, but you get a, a, a day. package of strawberries. Yeah, they go bad in like two or three days. Yeah, right. and these are unbelievable. This is delicious. And especially this white one. Un uh, anyway, this Oishi. This is a good use of AI. Let me tell you. That's right. Well done. Finally. Oishi opened its largest farm mm -hmm. in New Jersey last year, and Hiroki tells me that one acre <laughs> inside the facility would be equal to about 200 to 300 acres of, of traditional outside production mm. on a farm. Uh, they're developing this white berry. That you, is that you guys just tried. This is, and then of course, over here we've got their original, the omakase berry. Mm. You just uh, gave us a little glimpse into the future, sir. It Thank is. You. This is the mm -hmm. future.